In today's video, rapid fat loss for the military. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Ravella from ProPhysique.com and I got a video today that is about fat loss, weight loss in a manner that I don't normally recommend and that is going to be rapid weight loss. But the reason I don't normally recommend it is because we're trying to do things specifically for performance. Like most of the people I work with are performance athletes. They're based around getting in shape either for their lifestyle for their goals as far as strength and performance or their goals as far as aesthetics, getting in like lean shape to get on stage or do a photo shoot. Um, so yeah, I work with people across all spectrums. Now, the question that I got on my direct message today, um, which I will post here for you to check out, basically goes something like this. This gentleman has applied for the military and they have told him he needs to lose an extreme amount of weight, I think it's 65 pounds, and he's only got about four months to do so. So what does that tell me? Well, that tells me we can't be gently getting into a fat loss diet if we're gonna be successful with the goal of being ready to be in the military, right? Like they're going to tell him, sorry, you're not able to join, and they'll probably have something, um, another option or another date where they have to set him back. So what did I do? Well, before I made this video, I reached out to my friend, Nick Bear. If you guys are not familiar with Nick Bear, I'll link his channel below, but fantastic content uh, for me, Army, former Army Ranger, lots of video content that has to do with military-based stuff. So I reached out to him and I said, hey, Nick, is there a resource for people that are interested in joining the military but are overweight? And he said, no. He said, it's actually a big problem. A lot of people will do drastic things to cut weight, to get into uh, the military, and then, you know, in my experience, that's gonna leave people in a bad situation. So, yeah, I, I found that very interesting that there wasn't actually a resource. So, uh, Nick has helped some people in that situation, put them on macros, gotten them ready. Um, but with you, sir, I'm gonna offer a couple things. First of all, I do have a free book on flexible dieting, which I'd like to offer to you. Just email training at prophysique.com and you can get a free copy of flexible dieting book, which, I feel is the best philosophy when it comes to dieting, um, and you can read about why, but it just basically integrates into anybody's lifestyle. It's a philosophy, it's not a diet. But let's talk about some specifics for what you are going to need to do to lose 65 pounds in four months. And it's gonna start here. You, sir, are going to have to change the way you think, okay? Your lifestyle is about to change drastically. Now, being 65 pounds overweight, for, for, for a man, tells me you've just not been that physically active throughout your life. You've probably lacked the drive to be active and you probably, without being active, you probably don't care much about nutrition. You probably eat whatever sounds good, whatever feels good. And while that's great, now that has to change. And it has to change in your head first. Why? Because the psychology of getting in shape and losing 65 pounds in four months means you have to put yourself first. It's going to mean the normal routines that you have, the people you spend time with, I don't care if it's your family, I don't care if it's your mom, I don't care if it's your best friend that tells you, yeah, we need to go out drinking Saturday night and we stay out till 3 a.m. and then we go to Denny's or we go to IHOP and we eat and we sleep until noon. That shit's gotta change, okay? That ship has sailed. You put yourself in a position where your back's against the wall and you need to start changing your behaviors. Now, I don't know anything about you and I'm not gonna put your name on this message so I don't want anybody messaging you but I just want you to understand that it starts there because what happens is people start to accept us for who we are and what, when, you, when you change something, people will start to question it. You'll say, no, I don't wanna go out drinking Saturday. I have to go to the gym. No, I don't want to go out drinking Sunday. I have to prepare my meals for the week. No, I don't want to go do that activity or play that video game or do the things that you've been doing because I have to go to the gym or I have to go for a jog or a walk or whatever it is. When you start doing that, you're going to challenge the people around you. They're going to start thinking, man, I, I need to start doing something differently. Or they're going to challenge you and just call you stupid and be like, that's dumb. Anyone that challenges your goals in a negative way get rid of them, okay? You don't have to be bold about it, you don't have to be blunt about it, but just understand that that is a part of your life that's gonna have to go away. Find people that support you. 
When you tell people that your goal is to lose 65 pounds in four months, and I suggest you tell everyone around you because they're going to hold you accountable and they support you, that's good news. Those are the people that you need to be spending time with. You're going to make new friends. You're going to be in the military. You're going to find people at the gym that you have more in common with. You're going to find people that have a different walk of life for you. And so you got to get rid of the old habits, the old you. Now, what do I suggest in terms of diet and cardio and training? Well, first things first, do them. Diet, I'm not so worried about what your specific nutrition looks like. You know what good nutrition looks like. You know you can't go out to eat and order a dessert and drink and do all the things if you want to lose 65 pounds, right? We know this. I'm not expecting you to make changes where all you eat is chicken and broccoli, but you need to make changes. You need to be more consistent with your diet, okay? Now, I always suggest a high protein intake to someone who's just getting started in nutrition and why. Well, a high protein intake is gonna be very satiating. So if you make the primary focus of each meal protein, and I don't mean a rack of ribs is protein. I mean chicken, lean meats like fish and steak. If you make that the primary focus, and sorry for you vegetarians and vegans out there, I'm sure there's some high protein options for you. Um, but in general, if you make a high protein meal your, your main source, it's going to allow you to feel fuller, okay? You're gonna get some benefits. You know, protein has a higher thermic effect than other macronutrients, so it's tougher to digest. So there's just some other benefits along with improved lean body mass. If you are getting a primarily high fat, high carbohydrate diet and you switch to protein as your primary, primary calorie intake, it's going to benefit you body composition wise, recovery wise, lean body mass wise, muscle protein synthesis wise, lots of benefits. So now for someone who's overweight, you know, I think you should be in the two to 250 grams of protein a day range. Now that's gonna be very difficult if you're not already doing something of this nature. Um, so how do you do that? Well, it's gonna require planning ahead and that's where the changes continue, okay? You can't be willy-nilly figuring out what you're gonna eat from moment to moment, from day to day, okay? You need to have a plan in place. You need to purchase some protein powder, some protein bars. If you, if you like to cook, you need to go and start cooking some meals and putting in some Tupperware. Um, you need to go to the store and get yourself some things like deli meat and fish and chicken and steak and eggs, making your breakfast every day so that you're getting a plan. Don't chase food all day because what happens when you chase food, you reach for whatever makes you feel good and whatever makes you feel good made you 65 pounds overweight, okay? That's not what we want. So we have the diet, okay? And if you don't really understand what I'm talking about, get the free flexible diet e-guide. It, uh, it has some guidelines for how you should proceed. Let's talk about training and cardio and uh, to go along with the nutrition. So for training and cardio, without knowing your training history, which is something you have to know as a coach to give advice, and I don't know your training history, the one thing I will say that without a doubt has the biggest impact on, on well-being and health is walking. How much walking are you doing? If you're not doing any, start walking an hour a day. Start walking an hour and a half a day. Start every day getting up and taking two, three, four, 20 to 30 minute walks per day. I don't know what your schedule's like. Find time. Your life is changing. So don't start looking at it and go, man, I work, I work 10 hours a day, I don't have time to walk. You have time to, work you have time to walk before work, after work. Change what you were doing. Get off the Sega, the PlayStation, whatever it is, I'm old, so I don't know what video games are, are hip happening these days. But when you have a structure to your life, you have to disrupt it if you wanna see change. And so I'm gonna suggest you start with the walking. Walking is very powerful, it aids in digestion, it aids in body composition, it aids in blood sugar, and it aids in hunger control, okay? There's some really cool research that shows when people exercise, it actually benefits them in controlling their hunger better. So, start with the walking. Now, you're probably saying to yourself, what about the gym, do I need to go to the gym? Well, most people that watch my channel are gonna be surprised by this answer, but you don't really need to go to the gym, and here's why. If you go to the gym and focus on training and lifting weights and getting stronger, you're gonna put on lean body mass. And remember our primary goal here, lose weight. So if you're adding lean body mass at the same time you're losing body fat, there's not gonna be as much of a net change on the scale. So for someone in your position, I would focus on calisthenics, you know, push-ups, pull-ups, things like that. I would not try to go into the gym and put on a bunch of muscle. It's not going to benefit your cause. You can do that in the future if you're so inclined. But for you to see weight loss, 
calories and your diet need to be in check, you need to be moving every day. The more you move, the better. The more walks you can take, maybe those walks transition into some sprinting, right? One thing I like to do in my neighborhood is I like to sprint from one mailbox to the next and walk from one mailbox to the next. And I alternate. And then when I'm tired, I go home. Another thing I love to do, go to the basketball courts. Take a basketball, run back and forth on the basketball court and do some layups. Make cardio fun, but you need to move more and sit less. You need to eat less and prepare more. That's it. It's very basic and you know what it is. Now, for the rate of fat loss that you need, you're going to need to lose multiple pounds per week. And you probably will because you've got some advantages. You're a man. And when you start moving, your body's fat set point is going to really start to come back down to its baseline where it needs to be. Where what probably was, you know, in, in younger years before you started getting heavier. And again, I don't know your history, so I can't say that for certain. But I find that when people's body fat is well above where it would normally sit, it comes down rather rapidly, okay? Now, I don't know any of your history, so hopefully this provides some insight into what you can do, what you need to do. If you have a specific question, DM me again. I know I just basically told you just to start with a high protein diet and get moving. Well, here, my friend, is your reason to do so. I want everyone on this channel to check in on you. I wanna hear you succeed in getting into the military, and I have something for you. I'm going to give you a $100 gift certificate to Core Nutritionals. That's right. I, uh, I have some gift certificates to give away. Core Nutritionals um, basically is the company that sponsors me, right? And we provide some supplements. And so, yeah, I do feel there are some supplements that are going to help you in your journey. So just DM me and I will DM me with your email address and I will send you a $100 gift certificate for Core Nutritionals to get you underway and get you in the military and get your life moving forward and hopefully this helps. And uh, another cool thing, I had a good conversation with my buddy Nick Bear and um, we realized that this is actually a gap and there is actually probably a need for a program like this to help people get their diets and cardio and lifestyle in check prior to getting into the military. So he and I might be working on a project together. So if there's any military members, current, former, listening, watching, comment below. Let me know if you feel like that's something that would be beneficial if me and Nick and a registered dietitian maybe went in and put a plan together to help people with meals and training and you know what to expect and all those kind of things. I think um, you know speaking to Nick, it was something that both kind of like immediately we were like, wow, this, this could be something beneficial. So thank you for your direct message. Thank you for not being uh, afraid to ask the question. Hopefully this helps and um, I'll talk to the rest of you guys tomorrow. Oh.